Hey guys, it's your girl Melissa with SSG Music, and I'm sitting here in the International News Headquarters in Kent with Lonnie Burrell. Lonnie, how's it going? Yes, you are. It's going great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good today. It's actually a little bit sunny. You um, must have brought it here with you. I probably did. It, it, it <laughs> likes to follow me. Way to keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were checking out um, some clothes with the line Atiziano here. What did you think of the fall lines? I love it. I'm actually being spoiled in it right now with what I have on. It feels great. I look good. And I can't wait to get my hands on the rest of the things that I've seen here. Like, I, I love it. Definitely. Definitely. Well, let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about music. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> you, I have to say, I just listened to your new album, The Love Train, and you have been spending a lot of time on the production side of music, but now you're releasing your first album, or excuse me, your, after your mixtape. So I would love to talk to you a little bit about what that transition has been like from going from the production side to the performance side and how, how that's been for you. Well, it's, it's been somewhat of a smooth transition. Of course, you know, you got your bumps in the road where you have to learn new things. But for the most part, before I was writing and producing for anybody, I was singing background for a lot of different artists. And it was almost, it was like school for me, watching what they had to do, you know, on and off the stage and just having the chance for, for the Tanks and the Jamie Foxes and the different people that took me under their wing. I was a, a, an understudy for so long so that, you know, now when I had to do it myself and transition into being the artist, I already knew what I had to do. But of course, you know, Everybody has their own story, so I'm learning as I go, but it's been a pretty pretty smooth transition, a fun one, and I'm looking forward to putting out more music. Definitely. Well, you have some of the best accolades out there, I'd have to say, because you have produced music and you sang background vocals and written songs for people like yeah. Snoop and Chris Brown and Keisha Cole. And, How do um, you know all that? <laughs> I do my research. <laughs> and I'm a fan, so hey, there you go. You. At what point when you're writing does it kind of hit you and you think, Man, that's hot! Like this track's gonna be a hit. When do you when do you get to that point? You know what's what's funny? My biggest songs are the songs that I've had. You know, the singles I've had. I I never go in to the studio or not never in the process of a song do I say this song's gonna be a hit. I know whether I like it or not. I just always hope that the world feels the same way. Okay. And even with some of my bigger hits, like I can transform you from Chris and mm -hmm. Please Don't Go. Those were songs that I didn't even know they were going to be singles and I was like what they putting that out okay great you know so you, you just never know you never can really call it and you, you just gotta just go and see what happens okay cool so what are you hoping that your fans get out out of the release of the love train um, what do you want to communicate they, I hope that they you know just understand the real musicianship and and artists like myself that you know we were able to really do this without auto-tune you know, we're able to really write a song with no music, just like the classic artists back in the day. But, you know, for the most part, I, I was trying to, in, you know, increase the population. Baby making music. <laughs> and, uh, what we've know, been just, lacking in R&B for yeah, quite a while. people to feel loved, you know, learn how to love and, and just make it through anything in your relationship. There's going to be some ups and downs, but mm -hmm. the love train is about people who understand love and find a way to overcome everything through love. Okay. So um, now that the love train is out, it's full force. Do you have plans for a tour? Can we see you um, performing anywhere anytime soon? Um, I'm doing spot dates as of now. Definitely looking to get on a tour, see what kind of packages they have out there for me to be a part of. And um, you know, if you hear of anything, let us know. <laughs> Definitely, you know? we'll keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> always look. I love to be on stage. I love okay. to perform, and uh, I'm looking forward to just you know getting on stage again, getting on a tour. You know, performing these songs off the love train, maybe giving some new stuff okay. live and then, you know, come back with, with the next album. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me. You look Thank super you. dapper in your ATZiano gear, so I hope you Thank have fun you. checking out the rest of the clothes. Yeah, I'm going to steal some. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I'm Melissa with SSG Music, and this was a sit down with Lonnie Burrell. Make sure you check out his album, The Love Train. It's out now on iTunes, $9.99, five-star rating. It's Thank pretty you. awesome. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Melissa with SSG Music.